Oh my god, I love burritos and they're everywhere in America. So in this video we are going to rank three of America's most famous burritos blindfolded. All right, so we're getting three chicken burritos from three different places. We started at Chipotle where we got a chicken burrito with guac. And then we went to Moe's where we got a chicken home wrecker. And now we are going to Taco Bell where we are going to modify as much as we can to get a fat chicken burrito. All right, so we made it back home. Table is set up here. Deanna is cutting those in half. I'm gonna go first, try all three. And then Deanna's gonna try all three. Of course, we're gonna do this blindfolded. Don't forget the cute one. And then I maybe put another cute one on top because it looks better. <laughs> it looks like s and Is it right? Is it the right way? Yeah, it's right. Okay, you ready for your first one? <sighs> All right. It's right in front of you. Right in front of me. I can feel it. Don't eat the aluminum. I don't know if I can show you. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I see nothing. I can't even feel it. Should I help you? Wait. Okay. This is not that easy. <laughs> this is so entertaining. What? <laughs> All right. Burrito number one. Mm hmm. Mm. We have some uh, lemony thing in it. I oh, know it's like salsa. It's 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 uh, sharp. This is so weird to me. I never done this. I feel like a dumb person. It's pretty spicy. I like it. Um, it's a very good burrito. I like the I like the taste. It's a little smaller. I am pretty sure this is the Taco Bell. I, I hope I cannot tell the difference between the other two, but I'm pretty sure it's the Taco Bell. And it's pretty good. And um, we try to make it as even as possible. Taco Bell doesn't have the, the huge ones, right? So we're doing, uh, we, had, we added all the stuff on here. Yeah, it tastes very good. It's not super meaty. It's pretty mushy. But it overall has the typical burrito Mexican flavor, I guess, with the beans, with the guac. Very good. By itself, I would easily rate this um, like a good 7. A good 7 out of 10 for the taste. Can I have a sip of water in between? There's the water. Thank you. I'll give you the where's the Where's the thing to drink from? Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Better? No burrito here. Here's the burrito. Right there. Alright, where's the opening? Okay. Well, actually, this doesn't feel that much bigger. So, now I'm not sure if the first one was Taco Bell. Whoa, where is it? Oh. How are you doing? That's still wrapped? Yeah, they're still wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Burrito number two. There you go. I feel something, I taste something fresher. It might be cilantro or some kind of green. Or it might come from the um, tomato salsa thing that's in there. The, the, you call that salsa? The tomato cubes? Pico de like, gallo. Pico de gallo? Yeah. Exactly. So it tastes a little fresher. Also not that meaty to me. And I can't even say if this tastes much better than the first one. Let me go again. Mm. Oh. I'm unsure. I, I really have no idea if this is Chipotle or Moe's. And surprisingly, it's not much better than the first one. It tastes a little bit different, like a little bit more on the meat side. It's thicker, which I'm not sure if it is better because um, with the first one, it's easier to get more of all the flavors in your mouth. And this one makes it a little harder. I would still think it's slightly better, but not by much. I would give this a seven and a half for now compared to the other one. It has a very, very slight edge over the first one. So I'm curious if the third one is gonna be the same. Third right one. in front of you. Where's the opening? There we go. <laughs> that this could be a game by itself. We should try different <laughs> things blindfolded. We should try to make stuff like build a sandwich blindfold or something. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, I feel uh, I feel weird. I don't know where I'm looking at. I'm looking nowhere. Is it aluminum or aluminium? All right, number three. Don't disappoint me. Mm -hmm. It was quite the guac bite. This is so good. I just want to keep eating. Third one tastes different, 
than the second one, definitely. The third one tastes like it has less ingredients than the second one, if that makes sense. I think I got a big guac bite on the left here, and then the rest of the stuff on the other side. Uh, I think this one I might like the best. It tastes a little different. The beans have a strong taste. You can taste the chicken. So again, not a huge gap. I would give this an eight. So my order, I think would be, this is my winner. If this is Chipotle or most, I don't know. The second one I tried is gonna be number two. And then the first one, which I'm pretty sure is Taco Bell is number three, but still up there. Woo, whoa, so bright. Ew, it's sweaty. Yeah, I was sweating. Ew. I was sweating a bit, my eyes. I don't know if I should be opening my eyes or closing them in here. Closing, right, here's the other one. Steak sauce. I can't see anything. I'm ready. First one, it's coming up, ma'am. There you go, it's in front of you. <laughs> Opening's on the left. On the left? What, yeah. my left? Yeah, that's right. I feel stupid. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's not as easy. I can't find it. I don't even know where my mouth is. Where's my mouth? <laughs> I taste no guac at all. It's got a little bit of a kick, but I think I mostly got fajita vegetables. I need another bite to tell. My bites are not as big as Phil's, so I struggle getting it all in there at once. Lie. <laughs> I can't tell which one this is. I think it's good. I feel like it lacks a little bit of flavor, to be honest. Like it's pretty neutral in flavor. Yeah. Where'd it go? Well, you should not finishing it now. You took it away from me. I want to finish my burrito. <laughs> it was good though. Like overall it was good. It was a good burrito. I could taste the chicken. I didn't taste any guac in there at all. So I don't, I don't know. All right, let's do a comparison. Okay. Ready for the next one? Yes. Numero two. Numero dos. dos. This is a whopper. Just rimming around, rimming around it. That was good. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely, instantly, this one has more flavor than the other one I had. You napkin? Yes, please. Interesting. Where is my mouth? <laughs> the typical Diana, even when you see, you drop stuff. I think I like, I like this one. I like it a lot. I taste the flavor. I can taste the different ingredients. I can taste the chicken. I taste the rice. And I feel the rice. It's a nice texture. And the guac, I can taste it. I like this one. I, I like the flavor in this one. All it's right. a nice overall burrito. A nice overall burrito. Take it away. Be gone. Was it in my hair? Yeah, a little bit. Ew, <laughs> you just wipe the table and then wipe my face? I'm ready for my next one. Numero tres. Numero tres. Right there. I found. Oops. That's right. Upside down? Left, yeah. right? That's right. Okay. Is it a bare naked mole rat now? <laughs> yes. It's a naked burrito. One bite challenge. <laughs> it's actually not bad flavor. It definitely tastes overall mushier. I'm pretty sure this one's the Taco Bell one, but I'm surprised by how much flavor is actually in here. It just kind of mushes together. There's not really that much texture going on. I taste the chicken though, surprisingly. I think I would be satisfied with this if I just wanted a burrito and I ate it. It has everything you want, just a little, not as much texture, but flavor wise, it's pretty good. I think I would put some hot sauce on it. All right, so how would you rank them? I think this the second one I had, I liked the best. That one would be probably like an 8.5. I think I like this one more surprisingly than the first one I had, Ooh. just because the first one had no flavor really. But they're all pretty good. They're all fairly decent. Like I've gone to some sit down restaurants and had worse burritos before. <laughs> oh, that's sweaty in there. Holy yeah, right? smokes. All right. we. Both like Chipotle the best. Yeah. A little bit surprising to me. You kind of said the same thing. The most one, I think it has more ingredients and it mixes all together so it's not as strong and you don't taste everything as much, yeah, right? The flavor wasn't as strong. I kind of went into this thinking I might like most a little better, but my biggest surprise was the Taco Bell. And yeah. um, 
I, as I said, I was not aware that you can get a proper decent burrito there. And you gotta mention, this one was $5 and these were $9. This one is 3 and then you add chicken and you can add other things and you can ramp yeah. it up. So for 5 something, as you said, it's a good thing that does the job. It's not a bad burrito. I'm honestly surprised I like the Taco Bell more than the most. To be like, I did yeah. not expect that at all. Anyways, this was really cool. I'd never eaten food blindfolded before. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> we should do more blindfolded stuff. Yeah, it was cool. Make a sandwich or something. Can't but, wait to finish these. Yeah, calm down. Let's finish the video. <laughs> Let us know in the comments where your favorite burrito is from. Yeah, is it Chipotle? Is it Mos? Or is there maybe another player on the block? Kudoba isn't around here, but there is that. Oh. Yeah. Also, if you have other recommendations, what we could try, what could we pit against each other? I would love to do more of these. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see Goodbye. you next time. Bye.